Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use family sharing on your iPhone or iOS device. So you would want to do this if you are a parent and your child just got a new device like a new iPhone or a new iPad and you want to get notified when they try to download an app. You want to have location services on where you can track where they are at certain times and you just want to do things to protect your child and what they're using on the device or if you are a spouse of someone or have someone on your plan and you just want to share things like Apple Music or Apple Fitness or something of that sort. So go to the settings app which is the gear icon app. You're going to see all of your settings here. Tap on the top option or one of the top options there if you have iCloud which by the way you need to have for this to work should be at the very top there but if it's not you'll see your name and then it says Apple ID iCloud Plus etc and then once you've done that just tap on that option there you're going to see a few things here you're going to see iCloud media and purchases find my iPhone and find my other devices and then you'll see something that says family sharing if we just go ahead and tap on the family sharing option there it's got uh, three little family icons or avatars there we will see that I now uh, currently just have myself at the top and it's going to be the person who sets this family share up you can go to the blue add member button there to go ahead and add a member of your family or a person you want to add to your family sharing account and then you will have two options you can invite people so if I wanted to invite my wife I could just tap the blue invite people button there and then it'll give me multiple options like texting uh, air dropping emailing uh, to my wife to invite her to uh, our Apple family sharing plan. Now, what I'm going to show you today, just for simplicity's sake, that one's pretty easy. You send that to the person, it gives them an auto a way to, to log in to insert their Apple ID. They need to type in their Apple ID username and password and then log in and then you'll see them added to your family sharing plan. And then once I show you kind of how to use it, they can do all of the things that a normal person would be able to do. So we're going to create an account for a child, which is the bottom option there under invite people. And it says create a child account. It says the child account will be part of your family until the child is at least 13 years old. To create this account, you must be the child's parent or legal guardian. We will also ask you to provide parental consent. All right. And the first thing I see after tapping on continue is the payment method that I use for the app store. And because they require a payment method to be on file, even for an additional account under family sharing, you will need to go ahead and confirm this and give parental consent. But you will be notified every time that this method is being used. And you can even turn that off at a later time. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So go ahead and type in that verification code and continue on. Once you've provided a payment method, whether it be a credit, debit card, or PayPal, you can go here and continue by accepting and agreeing to the disclosure here. And then go ahead and insert your child's first and last name and their birth date. So once you've typed in their name and birth date, you have two options here under email address. You can create a free one on Gmail or something like that and insert it here. You can enter your email address or you can go to don't have an email address by tapping that and get them an iCloud email address just temporarily for their Apple ID. This will indeed be their Apple ID username for the future. So make sure you understand that. So choose which one of these you want to do and go ahead and continue. Once you've created them an email address, you need to go ahead and give them a password for their Apple ID. Make sure you write all of this information down. All right, and the next thing is very important. The next is going to be the phone number. This is going to be the phone number linked to this account. Should be your phone number if you're setting this up. This is what number will be notified when they try to download an app, when they log into a new device. Any type of notification through the family sharing process will be done through this phone. So go ahead and make sure that is correct and go ahead and tap either use phone number there or use a different number and type in the correct one. So go ahead and tap that now. And next you're going to be walking through a few of the features of family sharing on iPhone or iOS. First is going to be asked to buy. Basically this requires that child to get approval from you. You'll get a text message every time they try to buy or download anything. Go ahead and tap continue if you want to approve this or don't use ask to buy. Allow them to do and buy and download as they please. I'm going to tap on continue to make this enabled on this device. Also, do I want to see her location? Yes, I do. I want to go ahead and tap on share locations. This will allow me to see where she is or where she is with that device at all time. And now once I've done that, gone through a few of the different things there, you can see I now have myself as the organizer or parent. And then I even have my child there down below uh, with her name and age there down below. I can tap on her now and you can see now that she has uh, an actual account here and she'll have a few things linked to her account under family sharing. We can add more members by tapping on the add member button there and go through the same process. But down below now, we shall see a few things. 
You can see location sharing, purchase sharing, iCloud Plus, Apple Cash. You can see their screen time. There's so many things that you can do now. Uh, let's just use screen time, for example. I can tap on screen time, and you can see that you can set up screen time by tapping that there, and you can choose the family member that you want to go ahead and enable this feature for. So I want to enable that for her, turn on screen time, and then you can see that I can get weekly reports. I can see when and how it starts. Also, I can set a scheduled time for that person to uh, not be allowed to use that screen time. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And you can even have app limits for specific things like TikTok or games or anything like that. Uh, and then you're good to go. And then you can even set a screen time password if you've set that up to be the case. So that's just one thing you can do uh, within the family sharing options here is screen sharing. But as you see, there's plenty and ton more uh, for that to go. So as you can see, shared with your family, we've got Ask to Buy. That's what I mentioned earlier. And then any subscriptions you may have, whether it be iCloud, Apple Music, you can just tap on Apple subscriptions here. And then you can go here and choose Apple Music and share that with everyone on that specific family sharing plan. If you just, add, again, you have to add an additional person if you want to enable this and, and pay a little more for the subscription. But all of that will be done under the family sharing settings. If you have any questions, as a parent or anyone adding anyone to their family plan, please put those in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.